Make sure you subscribe to Snarled and the bell is turned on for notifications. Hi, Oddings. Do you want to hear something thrilling? Today's video is brought to you by A&E's new night of paranormal programming. Starting Wednesday, August 21st, don't miss the return of Ghost Hunters at 9 p.m., followed by Psychic Kids at 10 p.m. 15 years after introducing the world to the field of authentic paranormal investigation, Ghost Hunters returns to television now on A&E. The series that terrified and captivated fans for 11 seasons will follow one of the original team leaders, Grant Wilson and his hand-picked group of professional ghost hunters as they use their decades of field experience to investigate hauntings across the country. Engaging forensic experts, historical records, and the most innovative technology available, the new squad will help everyday people who are struggling with unexplained supernatural phenomena. Psychic Kids will follow Ghost Hunters with all new episodes featuring past psychic kids from the original show, who are returning as successful adults to empower a new generation of young psychics. They will spend time with the children and their families to assist them in taking control of their paranormal abilities, as well as showing them the remarkable power Power of their immense gifts. Be sure to tune in to A&E as the network returns to paranormal programming on Wednesday, August 21st with Ghost Hunters at 9 p.m. and Psychic Kids at 10 p.m. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Upper and Lower Melinda. The following story was inspired by a submission from Sophie. I lived in a small town. Like most small towns, it had its fair share of urban legends. The one that fascinated me the most was the legend of Upper and Lower Melinda. Back in the 1800s, when the town was first founded, Melinda was a woman who was accused of being a witch. One day, Melinda's home was broken into by an angry mob of townsfolk. They grabbed her, tied her hands, and dragged her from her house to the center of town, all the while she kicked and screamed, insisting she was innocent. When they reached the gallows, the executioner tied a noose around her neck. Any last words? Yes, she said. Mark my words, you are making a huge mistake. And as long as the two halves of my body touch, the people of this town will be forever cursed. Shouts erupted from the crowd as Melinda was strung up and took her final breath. Typically in this town, when a woman was hung for being a witch, her body was then cut in half. The town's elders believed this stopped the spread of dark magic that may have prevented the witch from being killed. Terrified of her curse, the townsfolk then buried the two halves of her body far away from each other. The upper half of her body was buried on the edge of town, but her lower half was buried in a secret location unknown to anyone except the person who buried it. Now, about 200 years later, the whereabouts of her lower half are still unknown. Some people believe it's because whenever you visit Upper Melinda's resting place, her lower half crawls closer and closer to it. I wasn't sure if I believed any of this, but I love a good spooky legend. So one fall afternoon, I decided to pay a visit to Upper Melinda to see if there really was a marked grave. I traveled to the old abandoned barn all the way at the edge of town. As soon as I reached the tomb, the clear autumn sky turned dark and gray. The breeze quickly gained speed and swirled around her, and I could have sworn I heard the wind sound like a whisper. You set me free. Then everything returned to the way it was. I thought it was such a creepy coincidence. The next morning, my alarm didn't go off, so I woke up late. I realized that I had missed my bus, so my mom offered to take me to school. When we got there, we learned that the bus I was supposed to be on was in an accident. Apparently, the bus driver had forgotten to take his insulin that morning and went into shock behind the wheel, causing the bus to crash. Several students were seriously injured and one was killed. I felt horrible, but also very lucky. And over the next month, strange things kept happening all over town. Car accidents, house fires, power outages. Everyone around me was either getting horribly injured or brutally murdered. But somehow, I was immune to all the bad luck. 
Then I remembered the night I visited Upper Melinda. The legend. The voice. You set me free. I was the final visit that brought Melinda's two halves back together. And now, everyone in town was cursed, except for me. I should be happy that nothing bad is going to happen to me, but I'm not. I still have to watch my loved ones suffer and die gruesome, unjustified deaths. And that was its own curse. Thank you to all of our patrons. If you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarled. Wanna hear something that's not scary? Saving money. I've got an incredibly easy way for you to do just that. Honey is a free browser extension that scans the web for coupon codes and discounts while you shop online. Honey recently saved me $35 on a new pet carrier. I know you listen to a lot of scary stories, so you're probably a little skeptical, right? Like what's the catch? Well, this is how it works. When you use a coupon provided by Honey, they earn a small commission from the merchant and they pass along some of the savings to their members, so it's a win-win for everybody. Look, there's really no reason not to use Honey. It's free to use and easy to install on your computer in just two clicks. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com ss. Honey, online savings simplified. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, Sweet dreams.